In the application that was filed by the Lord Mayor in the High Court, the Lord Mayor sought 13 orders for the prohibition and injunction on activities of the tribunal challenging the proceedings and its continuing with investigations for his removal from office. In fact, Lukwago's lawyers also challenged the rules and procedure of the tribunal, calling them unlawful and unjust on grounds that the tribunal is not fully established or properly constituted. In a decision made by Justice Vincent Zehurichize that was read today, court ruled that the tribunal should proceed by simply observing principles of natural justice. On the order to declare investigations of the tribunal null and void, the court ruled that there is no foundation for such an order before dismissing the case without costs. <laughs> The Lord Mayor and his supporters were not pleased with the court's decision and he has vowed to appeal. Where you find the right to fair hearing, the right to cross-examine witnesses violated, you have no choice but to nullify the proceedings. They cannot be rectified by way of saying you can recall the witnesses. This is very, very absurd. We are not satisfied. Definitely we are considering an appeal. We are going to the Court of Appeal to challenge them. This is the second time the court is ruling in favor of the tribunal after it last month dismissed the Lord Mayor's application for an interim injunction to hold the proceedings of the tribunal. The Kampala Minister Frank Tumwebaze set up the tribunal to investigate the Lord Mayor following a petition that was filed by 17 councillors questioning the competence of the mayor Lukwago. Suhail Mugavi, NTV, Weekend Edition.